Hi, Tom Cooley, coach for Steve Taylor Community Connection and certainly uh, with the superstar Terry Crosby from Taylor. Really a privilege for Cros and I today to talk to a gentleman who is making such a difference in our community, Chad Ringman. He, and he brought his wonderful staff with him. They're behind camera, we can't see him right now, but take my word for it, they're fantastic and the work that they're doing. Chad, welcome in the Community Connection. And Thank you. You guys have done such a wonderful job marketing Ronald McDonald House. But I still believe there are probably some people out there that don't understand, encompass the whole thing. You know, 100%. do we have to pay for anything? Right. How long can we stay? Are we going to be responsible for anything? Can I give us a thumbnail sketch sure. of Ronald McDonald House? You know, the, the best way to think about it is that the family is having uh, one of the worst days of their life, right? They've got a little sick one, lots of things to worry about, think about all day long. Sometimes it's 10, 12 hours till they're even in a place where they're thinking about where we're going to stay, where we're going to eat, et cetera. And the Ronald McDonald House is here in Northwest Ohio for exactly that situation. Families don't pay anything to stay with us. They might be with us a day, they might be with us a month, they might be with us for several months I and mean, we just don't want them to worry about any of those things so things like you know community support we're hundred percent funded by donations from our community and that offsets every fear that that family is dealing with they don't pay anything to stay with us and it's all offset by the community it's pretty incredible Cross and I have chatted about this you get families you know at a low point you know they've got a child that's not well some you know they may not have the resources they're worried about the worst thing would be to me worrying about money uh, you know, right. can I, you yeah. know, can we, how can we, we afford this? How do we get, yeah. how, do we uh, how do we do this? And people coming from out of town and, yeah. you know, what can we do? And the fact that you are able to take all those burdens off of the parents and they can just focus on their young person yeah. getting better. That has to be, I mean, you could, you see the burdens lift from them yeah. when you lay it out and what's yeah. going to happen for them? Yeah, you watch the burden lift, certainly as people extend their stay too, you know, the, and, and uh, our, our staff that are front, our family services folks, they're, they're the conduit, they're the one that make it happen. Yeah. But you know, and that's the way we see ourselves yes. as that conduit is, you know, it is a community of people that support the mission that we do yes. and we pass that along to the family. So, you know, I mean, I'm incredibly proud of the work that we do, but at the same time, it takes the community to really understand and, and move that mission. It's really important that we see our role as that, is helping deliver a service that this community expects us to deliver. You know, Chad, you do, uh, over the years for uh, Ronald McDonald House, you do such great work as a, as a great leader. And we all identify and know that it comes from the top, okay? It comes from the top down, just much the same as Steve Taylor here leading us is so encouraging, you, you know, when you have a great leader that's leading the way, that's guiding you. And so I just want you to talk a little bit about the sacrifices your staff have made over the years to support your services, and also how genuinely they are in their jobs yeah. and, and the great job that they do in the community. You know, and, and we talked just a second ago about our family services folks, and again, that's the frontline folks. Those are the 24 hour right. day, Families need something, shoulder to cry on. Yeah. How do we, how do we, what's this even mean for checking in? Uh, they go through that process. So certainly uh, a lot of what they do is, is you know, right the pulse of it. Mm -hmm. From there, everything is support, right? You know, everything from our marketing folks to our development folks that right. pull things like fundraisers together. Because, you know, as we talk about, we talk a lot about, it's really important that we understand that we have stakeholders throughout the community, not just the families that we serve. Certainly that's a big part of it, but it's important that we understand that we want to make sure that donors feel that we're being good stewards of right. their money. We want to make sure that the community, that's we talked about uh, at, the, at the front of this, our marketing efforts and just trying to get out in front of that. That's really important that how do families even know what it is that we do? How does the community know what right. we do? So it really takes all of that to come together at the same time. And it's not one leads the way or anything like that. And at the end of the day, it does come down to if we deliver great service to families, that means something, right? Yes. We talked about that's the worst day of their life when they're when they're showing up. So how do we ease that burden? How do we move that forward? And the rest of it kind of falls together. But our team just does an incredible job of coming in every day and they're there for the right reasons. They really want to be there to make that impact and, and see that impact from the vantage point that they're seeing it from. Yeah, you know, Cross had a salient point there. I think it's really important uh, about leadership and we've worked with you enough. I, I really truly believe that when a leader makes the people around him or her comfortable. They're uh, not, they don't want to work intimidated every day. Right. They're not afraid if they make a mistake because everybody makes mistakes. Cross and I are on mistake 3000, I think, uh, this week, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but really, when you go into work and you're comfortable, 
and uh, you feel good about your job and you're not worried about gee, every little thing I, I didn't turn my pencil in at the end of the day I think you get the best of what people have to offer mm -hmm. and I know your staff's done that but I know you create cross is right you create that yes. it's a teamwork philosophy that we're in it together sure. you've got some of your staff here today you want to just mention them, even though they're off camera yeah you want to mention your staff uh, absolutely so Wendy's hey you're our director of operations and you know, certainly Wendy? when we talk about volunteers and we talk about you know the, the family services staff and we talk about family interactions that's her and her team wow. and she does a great job leading those folks and making sure you talked about you know one of our core values is lead with compassion we start there right you know it's not it's about leadership and leadership we define as influence how right. are we influencing people and how do we do that through compassion we also talk a lot about diversity of thought just like you said it's really about creating an environment where people can share right right because at the end of the day it's not about having uh, proving that I'm right. It's about proving right. that we're doing the right thing, right? right? So it's if, if there's other vantage points, we want to talk about that. So we've also got Adam Simpson here yes. with us, and Adam uh, is our our uh, marketing coordinator, marketing communications coordinator, and he's he's my boss in situations like this, right? <laughs> helps, helps make sure that we uh, you know, get the message out right. and, and make sure people know the good work that we're doing. And, and we brought Vaughn with us today, and Vaughn uh, is going to do uh, most of the artwork that we're going to do. He's, he's an incredibly talented artist, so we talk about that. He's done some pieces around the Ronald McDonald House that are proudly displayed. So when we turned to him and said, hey, we got this opportunity with Taylor, uh, what do you think? He was all on board. He's painting every day. He's coming in and creating wow. some specific pieces That's for right. it. So we're super excited yes. to talk about well, that too. Well, Chad, you're not only a great CEO, but you're a good TV man because that's a great segue <laughs> that leads us to, we're going to have a special night here at Taylor. Yes. Uh, it's August 24th, which yeah. is a Thursday night, 6.30 to 8.30. We've stumbled onto something very cool. We've done it a number of times here. What we do is we take all the cars out of the showroom, we put in high top tables, black tablecloths, uh, food, uh, drinks, music, we've hired entertainment, and for two hours, and then we'll display all of your fantastic art. And then people get an opportunity to, you know, we don't do all the bidding on the thing. You, you want it, it's $300. And you got, I mean, it's just a boom, boom, boom. Now you have to wait around all night. And I'm telling you, we've done it. Cross will attest to it. It's a great night. It's a great vibe. And people have fun. You know, I think today people, want to have fun there right there hasn't been out. a lot of fun yes. over the last couple of years so you can come have fun enjoy yourself see some great art purchase some great art and support an incredible cause like ronald mcdonald house so we're excited it's august 24th uh be here at uh, taylor hondai in perrysburg 6 30 to 8 30. everything's free i mean the food the drinks the music and you get to walk around look at art meet great people and support an amazing cause so Cross, it, it, the vibe is great. And, and Chad, before you 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 give your you give us and share your excitement with yeah. all of us, I, I just want to tell you, man. When Tom Cole said to me a few months ago, "Hey, guess what? We're doing a special night here at Perrysburg Hyundai," and he paused and I said, "Well, okay, but you didn't finish. Where, where are we doing it?" He said, "We're, we're bringing Ronald McDonald House," and I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> I was so excited, yeah. man. I really, really was. Yeah, I thought went out to the house a couple times. Yes, yeah. I thought that's going to be that particular night. It's going to be off the yeah. hook, honest yeah. to God. Pretty and the night. ambience of the environment yeah. is so classy. You know what I mean? And it just runs so smooth. And we are really, really fortunate to be partnering with you and having such an event like this. Yeah, we're, we're super excited about it. It's great yes. to you know combine with uh, with Taylor Automotive on this and we appreciate the opportunity. It's a great way for us to interact with folks and mm -hmm. in a new way yes. and, and certainly support and support those families that we've already talked about. Yeah. Uh, that money is going to go directly to those families that are right here in our in our community. So we're excited to bring folks out and, and have some fun. Chad, it's our honor and, and uh, to meet your wonderful staff, which is yes. very cool, and uh, to have you in. And again, as a CEO who uh, knows how to lead, knows how to make yes. a difference in our community and is helping lift our community every day. So, you know, we can't show more appreciation for it than we have. Yes. We really, Thank truly you. believe in your mission and what your staff is doing. And uh, August 24th will be a great night. Awesome. So thanks so much for being with Thank us you. on the Steve Taylor Community Connection.